Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some very exciting Battlefront news. A lot of you have probably heard about the bow rifle, the Lassat weapon seen in the Rebel series wielded by Seb that will be coming to Star Wars Battlefront sometime in the future. It's been shown in leaked files, the best spin stream as well as at Star Wars Celebration and all we know so far is that it's a blaster with a unique melee mechanic. Christian said during my Death Star stream that the weapon would be coming in a special event or something like that, which did kind of confirm that it wasn't going to be added the normal way that all other weapons have been added so far. And we now have some details on how exactly this weapon will be added, as our good friend and redditor Uninspired Zebra has done some more digging in the Battlefront files and found out how we are actually going to get this weapon. Just to remind you, this is the guy that leaked the skirmish mode, stinger pistol and hero blast, so he is a trustworthy guy who really knows knows how to dig in the files. However, you need to keep in mind that all the info that he has dug up from the files could be changed for when the bow rifle is actually going to be released. So what did he find out? Well apparently the bow rifle is going to be a viral pickup, which means that according to what he found, if a player wields the bow rifle and gets killed, a bow rifle pickup will be dropped for whoever killed him, and if you pick that up, you will unlock the bow rifle permanently yourself. This sounds like an extremely cool way to unlock the bow rifle, and the coolest thing is that this is exactly how you earn a Lassat bow rifle in the canon universe. The only way to get one is to beat the owner in honorable combat. Well, it's debatable how honorable these fights will be, at least if you use a shock grenade and disruption. Uh, but the question then is, how are we going to get the first couple of bow rifles into the game? Well, he didn't manage to find any info on this in the files, but he did however guess that it would come from the developers, which would make sense and also be a cool way for them to get a bit more involved in the community. The only thing I'm worried about regarding this way of unlocking the weapon is that if this weapon isn't very good and people stop using it after a few weeks, it's going to be pretty hard for new people who might join at the Rogue One DLC to actually get this weapon, but considering it looks like you only need to kill a bow rifle user once, it will hopefully not be a problem. But that is all the news I have for today, thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.